Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add passwordless login to your site in just a couple minutes. So first thing, a demo. This is a Webflow site. This is a fully customized passwordless login form. I just sent myself a six digit code, which is right here, and paste it in, confirm and log in. Okay, so now let me show you how that all works and how you can set it up yourself. So first thing you'll wanna do is in your member stack dashboard, navigate over to the components page. From here, you can filter for passwordless and you're gonna see uh, however many forms we have uploaded at this point. So I'm gonna start with sign up and login. So let's go with here. I'm going to copy this component, go into my Webflow project and go to my sign up page and paste it into the page. Uh, this element right here is step two. This can be visible or hidden. I'm gonna go ahead and hide it, um, but now I know it's there. The next thing I'll do is go to my login page. Let's go back over here and copy the login component. Uh, these are two individual forms and these are unique forms. They are not the exact same as the uh, regular sign up and login forms. You'll see the form attribute is actually a little different. Dot MS form equals passwordless login. So uh, while this is publishing, if you do want to have a site with both passwordless or login with a uh, password, then you'll want to create those forms separately. And then you can link to them using uh, Webflow interactions or put them on separate pages. Um, I think Webflow interactions is probably the easiest thing to do. Let's go ahead and publish our site, open this up and go over to the sign up page. Perfect, so we'll pick a new email address. Let's do team at, okay. Now I'm gonna go get that code. All right, so we'll go over here and then we'll see I have this email, which is customized with my branding and my logo. I'll paste in that, confirm, and sign up. And I am logged in, just like that. The next thing I'll show you is how to customize the email. You'll go to settings in your dashboard and then go to emails, passwordless login, sign up email. From here, you can update the reply to email, the subject header, all of that good stuff. And then MemberStack will automatically pull in the um, color of your title here and your branding from the design page, which is right here under settings and design. Next thing that's important to know is that if you're using MemberStack's pre-built modals, you'll want to configure passwordless here on the auth providers page. You're gonna click configure, and then you're going to enable this in your pre-built UI. Once that's done, it'll automatically be added and you'll have the option to set it as the default. Um, normally the default is to log in or sign up with your email and password, but you can change that right here. And let me go ahead and show you what that looks like in a new tab. Okay, so here in Webflow, I have this little login button. If I use the attribute data ms modal equals login and publish, when I navigate to the site and click on the button, we'll see that passwordless login is now the default. Super easy to configure and members still have the option to log in with a password if they want to do so. So I think that's everything. If you have any questions, please let us know. We are happy to help and we can't wait to see what you build with this.